Today I'm starting a series on mixing with an analog workflow in the box. Greetings everyone and uh, welcome back and if you're new to this channel please do consider subscribing and remember to click that bell so you get notified when I got new videos up. Now today uh, I'm uh, starting uh, a little experiment I've been meaning to do for a long time. I'll be taking uh, one of my own songs where I recorded everything myself and I'll be mixing it as if I was using uh, only analog uh, gear. What this means is I'll be uh, using console emulation, channel strip, and for inserts I'll be using uh, emulations of uh, analog outboard uh, gear. And for this series uh, I won't be using any um, of these uh, new modern uh, surgical EQs and frequency analyzers or uh, stuff like that. This is a great exercise for sort of resetting uh, your mixing uh, workflow and forces you to uh, trust your own ears. And this might be something that you uh, want to try out yourself. To begin with now I'll play just a little section of uh, the recorded tracks where I've just basically set up a static mix. For now uh, the vocals are muted but uh, we'll get to those uh, eventually. For what it's worth, uh, I've, I haven't used any EQ or compression or anything uh, like that uh, yet. Now, uh, what I'll be using on uh, each of these recorded tracks is the Slate VCC console emulation set to the SSL E channel. And following that, we got the Waves SSL uh, E channel strip on most of the individual tracks. That is all I'm going to be using. And all of the in individual tracks will be going into eight different uh, submix buses, which is fairly normal on most mixing consoles. And going over to the uh, master bus, what we have there is uh, first the Slate VCC mix bus uh, plugin, and we have a uh, Waves SSL G channel EQ which I might be using to do some corrections uh, when we've got the individual uh, channels uh, sorted out. Following that is, of course, the Waves SSL uh, bus compressor. After that, we have the Waves Puig Tech EQP1A, which is an emulation of the, um, of the older Pultec EQs. Great for um, sweetening uh, the mix. Adding a little boom and fizz, as they call it. And after that, we have the Slate Virtual Tape Machine. I have it set to the FG456 uh, tape uh, setting. 30 yips. And uh, the half inch uh, 2 track. And lastly, I have a Waves L2, uh, just for video purposes. What you'll now be hearing is a section of the instrumental uh, mix where I'll be uh, bypassing all of the effects and uh, turning it back on.
we've already got a major difference in the sound. So far, the plugins are all in the default positions and are actually not doing anything at all. One thing I noticed immediately is uh, the mix went from a very narrow one into a mix where uh, the stereo imaging is uh, much more uh, pronounced. What I'll now be doing is uh, going through all of the individual tracks and set up the gain staging for the console uh, emulation plugins. What you want is for most of the tracks to hit about uh, 0 dB VU. This adds a lovely spank to uh, a few tracks, especially the drums. And here's a little snippet after this uh, game staging. Alright, we're ready for mixing, and over the next days I'll be uh, doing uh, new videos on uh, each of the instrument groups, starting tomorrow with the drums. Until then, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.